Hello, happy Wednesday. I am filming in our new apartment and I hope wherever you are that you and your loved ones are safe and well, that you're having a good week and a good day. I am not gonna be on long, but I had to share that everything is really going well. I am heavy into unpacking, so that's why things are a little nuts behind me, but, um, but I wanted to share something and I'm gonna try not to get choked up about it. Um, I'm not the most religious person, I'm a spiritual person. Um, but I was brought up in a Christian home and for the last, since the move, move was put into motion, I have been saying, Jesus, take the wheel constantly, constantly, because I felt like I, I needed help from everywhere. <laughs> and um, so I've been saying that over and over again. And it, it almost became like a joke because I was like to everything. Uh, my husband said, what about this? I would just be like, oh, Jesus, take the wheel, or I'd be singing it or whatever and uh, making up my own tune for it, whatever. And to the point where my daughter actually got me a sticker um, that has Jesus on it and it says, I've got this. And uh, so I hung that up in the kitchen. So I'm sitting in the kitchen, obviously, right now. But so we moved on Sunday and I've been saying that so much and the most extraordinary group of people showed up the moving company to help us move and we were not ready we had stayed up all night the night before and I you know we were pretty much packing my husband took time off last week and we were packing around the clock the three of us and we still were not ready and which was horrifying because like the sun came up on Sunday and I said to my husband I'm like did the sun come up very fast <laughs> I'm like what's happening and um this one of the movers, he called me and he said, listen, whenever you're ready, let us know. Cause they came out a little early, big giant truck and let me know. So we went down, my husband went downstairs and brought the, the team leader back up. And his name was Jesus. And he said to me, don't worry. So I was like, he must've said, don't worry about a dozen or two dozen times and by 15 minutes in because everything I said I, uh, this is this and he's like don't worry and he said we've got this let us let us do our job we've got it and so like 15 minutes in I stopped hyperventilating and I realized oh my gosh I've been saying Jesus we when a man named Jesus came and took over and he was so kind and the three guys that he had with him I my husband turned to me and he said, we're going to be okay. Because it was like, we haven't moved in 26 years. And so we were panicked. And, you know, we moved from the home. We brought our daughter home in. And it was kind of emotional. We've been back there cleaning up and wrapping things up. And I have to bring some fragile things to my mom's to store until our closet situation is sorted. Because it's a little nuts right now. Um, as you can, if you've moved or you can imagine, like we had no experience with moving for a lot of years. And at that time, what we had was a bed, maybe two dressers, a couch, a futon couch, and a TV and a small dining room set, like a little kitchen table set. Um, that was the sum total of our move. This, not so much. We went way over the box limit. They were so nice. They packed appliances and stuff for us as we had discussed with them beforehand. But this man, he was, he was so kind. And at one point he said to me, listen, we've got this. You guys packed a lot. And, and, and so I said, I know I'm so sorry. And he went, no, 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 no. I mean, cause I said, oh, we have like family heirloom things that we had to move and you know, important. He said, no, 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 I didn't mean it like that. I meant you guys have been working a lot towards this. Let us do our end of it. And I, I just thought he didn't have to say that. <laughs> Because I was practically a ball in the corner rocking before they came in. And he just came in and was like, we got this. We had two big Ikea wardrobes that have been there forever. And, they, you know, Ikea, like everybody says you take Ikea stuff apart. It never goes back together the same way. Well, we had another moving company do a walkthrough with us. And the, those guys, who I really was leaning towards because we had a great conversation. We had good energy. I'm glad we didn't use them because number one, they were more expensive. But number two, he said to me when he did the walkthrough, we were all there and he said, well, we really, you know, it's going to cost a lot of money that he quoted. And we were kind of like, what? And he said, but really what I would recommend is just replacing it. Now, furniture is expensive and IKEA furniture from 20 years ago 
Um, this is like two big wardrobes. And to get something like that now would have been number one in the thousands, but also why should we replace our furniture? I don't want, I don't want it. we're already spending money on a move. This other company that we used came in and he said, oh, we can do that, no problem. And he remade it stronger. He took it apart because the other guy was like, well, we can drag it through and drag it. And I was like, there's too many right turns. I said, I don't know about that. These guys came in and said, we got it. And they did. And I said to my husband, we picked the right company, but this man is so amazing. He was, and his team was so great. They were so kind. And I thought, I, if you watch the videos leading up to this, you know, if I mentioned the move, I was kind of like, I don't know. I have to tell you, this was the most painless experience compared to what it could have been. And the right people did the job. But honestly, when, and I didn't even connect me saying, Jesus, take the wheel and this man, Jesus coming. It was that night. We were all in the living room sitting down and and my husband and daughter had made that connection and then all of a sudden i was like wait wait a minute and i felt like i was already just blown away by this company and i've i've yelped reviewed them i've put it on google i've just because they deserve the good praise because they were so fantastic and other people i know had used other moving companies and had a phenomenal experience with their company and so when i called those companies i I didn't get the same vibe and you have to vibe with the person you have to because you're trusting these people with everything in, that you own in your life um and we didn't want to buy new furniture that's expensive and kind of ridiculous if you don't have to and I said to my husband if we have no choice but in addition to the wardrobes like the vertical space on top like we had stuff on top of them and I was like I don't want to lose that real estate because obvious if you guys know like if you have that same situation you don't want to lose pieces of furniture you don't want to spend more money because a move is expensive as it is but i have to say this man and his team every time i think about it it could have been so much worse but he just kept saying to me don't worry anything else don't worry miss we got this and at the end i said to him i you were so kind i said it could have been so much worse and he was like we got it and they did and i recommend a nation to you if you're moving is definitely have a do do a walkthrough do not you know let just pick i mean unless that works for you for us we were so worried about having to move and we only moved from one neighborhood to another um like half an hour away but so we're still in new york but it's like your whole life is in that truck and and we did a, a fragile run we took some fragile stuff um, from one apartment to the other, that like irreplaceable family heirloom things. Not a lot. Well, it felt like a lot. It was a lot actually, <laughs> but, but they did all the furniture and everything. And I'm looking around this beautiful kitchen and I'm so happy here. And it's, we're all just at such peace. It's like, it could have been so much worse. And I know my husband's exhausted. He went back to work yesterday and we're all a little sore and tired, but it's like, but it's a good tired. It's one of those good things that you just feel like, it just feels good. It just feels good to be here and to have it done. And like, we still have some old stuff at the old apartment, which I do not think of as home anymore. And I did not think that was gonna happen. This is home now. And um, I, I'm i just relieved. So I would recommend, I was gonna say, if you're doing a walkthrough, let let them do the walkthrough rather and, and get the vibe off of the person, speak to the people, don't just, Especially, I mean, if you're doing a move bigger than a borough move, like we stayed in the same borough. I can't imagine like a state to state move. I mean, I would have been, I would have been rocking in the corner if we had to do that. Um, but then I realized if you hire the right people, if you get a good vibe off the people, it's like, that's everything. And their energy, that man's energy, God bless him wherever he is right now, because he was amazing and we were kind of laughing as I was writing a review last night I was like after 15 minutes of reassuring me and they were like it sounded like he was just sitting there going don't worry don't worry for 15 minutes but as he did the walkthrough with us he goes okay so what's coming and I was like oh but that and he said we got this we got this talk about professional they were professional and kind and amazing and I adore them I think they're wonderful and um and the guys that I thought were going to be great just let us down. I was so let down by it. I was like, I, as if it's easy or maybe it is for some people, but buying new furniture, especially a big piece of furniture. I mean, who, who can afford that? You know what I mean? It's like, I mean, maybe I know people can, we're not in a position to just start replacing all the furniture that we own. That's like not going to happen. But like, 
we're still getting unpacked. I have a lot of the kitchen unpacked, you know, despite the way that looks. Um, the bookcases are almost full again, and it's just, I'm happy. I'm happy here, I'm happy in this neighborhood, and I'm happy where we are, and we don't have stairs anymore, which is really nice, because we've had stairs for a long time, and you know, now we're back in a real apartment building, and I grew up in an apartment building, so it's like, it's, it's nice to be back in an apartment building, you know, and if things get messed up, we have help, we can call a super, and it's, and before it was on us, and I, I like being a mini MacGyver and rigging things, but now I'm, I'm not allowed to do that, I have to actually call the professionals, <laughs> which I guess is a good thing, it's a safer thing, but anyway, I just want to let you know that the move went well, everything's good, my family is good, and, and Jesus did take the wheel because that move sent the right people. The everybody's energy worked out. They were super kind and that made every bit of difference. And by Sunday night, when we all went to bed and I did actually sleep that night, um, I have I've had a little trouble since then, but I just thought we'll be okay here. And it's, that's a good feeling because before this, like in the weeks leading up to this, it was like, I don't know how it's going to happen. I don't know how it's going to work. It's not going to work. What's going to do? What are we going to do? But I'm looking around this beautiful place and I just, I have nothing but peace. So I'm going to leave it there. Even though I thought I wasn't going to be on long, look at how long this video is. It's 1136. Anyway, I hope wherever you are, that you have a low pain, no pain, low aggravation, no aggravation, kind of a day, kind of a week and kind of a weekend to come. That's what we hope for. That's what we deserve. That is what I truly wish for each and every one of you. Thank you for all your good wishes and support and uh, the prayers because they worked and uh, God worked for us and I appreciate that and um, have a good rest of the day. Take care. Bye.